Hi, my name's Mel Colley from melcolley.com and I just wanted to share a little trick with you that I use on our, my personal training clients when I'm looking at their gait. Um, and, 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 uh... Hi, my name's Mel Colley from melcolley.com and I just wanted to share a little trick with you that I use on clients who have got issues with um, anything actually going up the kinetic chain. It could be a knee problem, could be an ankle problem, could be something wrong with the hips could be um, pain in the neck or in the shoulders. So when we do posture assessments, we do a static posture assessment against the plumb line, but also a movement posture assessment. And also check, one of the main things we check with this ruler is their gait. So, taking my socks off, I'm gonna show you my feet. I'm gonna get excited. Okay, ah, nice hole in the sock. <laughs> Okay, so if you get a ruler and place it in the middle of your heel, you might um, be better if you actually lie down on the floor or flat on the mat and get someone to do this for you. And get a pen and draw a line on the ruler, from the ruler, going up the middle of the heel, going through the middle of your, the ball of the big toe, and the big toe should actually be centred on that ruler. So when you draw a line, I hope you can see what I'm doing here. Let's just grab that box. That will see me looking like I'm trying to lift my leg up in front of you, which I am trying to do, but this will make it a little bit easier. There you go. So resting the foot on the box, place the ruler in the middle of the heel and then in the middle of the ball of the big toe and then draw a line. And then you'll see I can see quite clearly that my big toe goes that way and really it should be going that way. It should be going down the middle of your big toe. And then you'll see that where it actually does land, all the calluses, the hard skin is on this side of the ruler and that tends to be where I place my weight when I'm walking. Big no-no. So that affects obviously my knee and my hip. Um, and it will also affect all about the kinetic chain so it could be a problem for uh, a lot of compensation going on in the rest of the body. A lot of people don't actually look at the feet, they look at where the actual site of pain is. Very rarely will they look at the feet. You think how often your clients or yourself standing, walking, well, I walk a lot, yes I'm sure you do, but are you walking using the right muscles? So, and again with this one, the toe goes even more over that way. So, what are you going to do about it? Well, once you know what's going on, um, you can go and see somebody who can get rid of all that hard skin, but really actually it's quite a good indication that you have got hard skin because it's good to notice things like this. Um, so you can take a, a golf ball, which is quite hard, or a tennis ball. I've also got a set of these um, made by Eric Franklin, which are very soft balls. Eric Franklin is a great um, a German guy who um, has created a lot of visualisation movements. Um, for dancers, but also for the average person like you and me. So, placing whichever ball you choose underneath the ball of the big toe, which you can feel where it needs to be, because it's going to be quite painful. Um, if you actually wiggle the toe around, you can feel like an elastic band, because quite tight under there, the flexor hallucis longus. Don't worry about trying to spell it, <laughs> you could just about say it. And we're going to lock that down, so we bend the toe back towards the foot so it releases, it relaxes. Then lock it down and then slowly bend it back so it's like you're stretching it. So I'm not going to do it very quickly. So I'm doing it with my thumb. You can do it standing by placing that underneath that area of your foot and then lifting the toe over the ball. So the foot releases over the ball and then you bring the toe back. Now it's going to be quite sharp, okay, this can be quite painful, it's not pleasant. And then once you've done that a few times, if you feel it start to slacken, release it, take up the slack and press it down again and then repeat. And once you've done that, grab hold of the area with your hand and start to circle it around. So you've got hold of the big toe and underneath the ball of the toe as well and start to circle it around. So you're trying to create some movement in the foot as well. And then come back the other way. And then what we're trying to do to hear that, <coughs> excuse me, little clunk then. 
Okay, so what we're trying to do then is create some movement in that foot, in that toe, so the toe can release, really stretching underneath the toe and it will come back. So when you um, retest, <clears throat> I haven't done it for very long, but you need to do it for a bit longer than that. Retest it, the toe will be coming back this way, so the ruler will have moved, you would have moved the measurement a little bit further. Okay, and it's something that you need to do quite regularly, probably about three times a week to get some um, change in the foot, especially if you've never done this before and it feels quite tight and quite bound. It will take a little bit of work to get that moving, but if your end goal is to have less pain and to feel lighter in your tread as you walk, it's really worth doing. Um, but also thinking about when you do walk, is if you're walking in sand, so you're trying to leave an imprint, or as if someone's covered your foot in paint or ink, and you're trying to leave a perfect print every time you walk. Um, almost like you're kissing the ground when you walk, it's quite a nice one that I like. Um, so you can actually then become more mindful about the skin that touches the ground when you're walking. So the, the sensations from the skin underneath the foot travel all the way up the leg into the, the rest of the kinetic chain. So usually we're just thinking about where we're going, what we're doing, or worrying about this, worrying about that. We're never really actually thinking or being aware of our feet at all. So take some time to change the way you walk um, and the way you think about it to really help the rest of the body. Okay, thank you for watching. My name is Mel Colley from melcolley.com. Take care and practice often.